Good evening, folks. One of the most pervasive and horrendously incorrect beliefs held by the public is that magnetic pole shifts on Earth take a long time. With this morning's top story about an entire galaxy having a magnetic field flip in only four years, the concept of rapid magnetic flips on Earth is back on the docket. This is the second such galaxy we've seen do this. A polarity inversion occurred in another galaxy over, again, just a few short years. And when you consider the size of galaxies, the size of the galactic cores, and the notion that a full magnetic reversal can happen there in just a few years, it begins to make you question the long-standing geological concept that Earth's magnetic pole shifts take a thousand years or more. That idea has persisted for decades and has only recently been challenged. And why shouldn't it? If galaxies can do it that quickly, if even the sun's magnetic pole flips occur over just one or two years, why couldn't Earth's happen quickly as well? Well, that's what has gotten kick-started in a big way conceptually in 2014 when Cal Berkeley said, forget about a thousand years or more. These flips can happen in less than a human lifetime. And since Earth's shift right now began in the middle of the 1800s, we are well within the red zone for another one. But 19 years earlier than that, we were already seeing geologists trying to shift the narrative, albeit unsuccessfully. There was a magnetic reversal 16 million years ago that saw peak motion of the field of 6 degrees per day. Right now, things are accelerating in the magnetic pole shift, but we're still seeing less than 1 degree a year. These events can speed up to psychotically fast rates of change. Ten years before that, the same team had already determined that peak acceleration of the shift was up to 50 times faster than what we're seeing today, and said that this acceleration comes when the field drops to 50% or less of its normal strength, a point we are approaching today with only 15 to 20 years left until we get there. And that means once that acceleration hits, will only have a few months remaining before the disaster reaches a crescendo. And when the field gets that weak, the solar impact effect of geomagnetic storms doubles at least and has the ability to actually hasten the internal magnetic shift, meaning that when we get down much more than we are now, we could just be one solar flare away from the end. And finally, the big story from 2020, the one that confirmed everything that came before and has changed the field of science forever. It's not 50 times faster than modern changes, it's 100 times faster. So yes, these events happen rapidly at planets, stars, and even galaxies. We're in the middle of a descent and downward spiral right now, and when we reach that critical threshold in the coming years, we will literally be able to circle a month in the same calendar year and know that our civilization will collapse before that time arrives. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.